Hey guys. Okay, welcome to Team Bowl Fitness's call. Um, it is May 22nd. I cannot believe it. Um, and the call tonight is called Don't Count Your Chickens, which is a really weird name for anything, but um, I'm all about um, like weird um, kind of sayings that make you that make them stick in your mind. Um, some styles of calls are, um, I, we learned this at Summit last year, um, that you're either a teacher or a preacher. And so sometimes we have like teaching calls where like it's very like, you know, you want to take notes and like there's certain skills you're learning. And then there are preachers who um, kind of just like dr drop a bunch of truth bombs. So I think I can do both, but tonight is definitely more of a preacher call. Um, it's something that I'm kind of fired up about right now because it's where I'm at in my business for this particular month. So let's get started uh, really fast. Um, to be mindset is newly launched. So if you haven't checked that out, just research it. Even if you're not doing the program, maybe put it on your radar of something you want to do. You know, if you just started an 80 day obsession, it's not like you're going to like bring in to be mindset, but I would definitely put it on your radar to listen and to pay attention when people are talking about that, because just because you have not tried a program does not mean that you can't suggest it to somebody who really, really needs it. Um, you know, I've never done 3D or three day refresh. I have literally been breastfeeding or pregnant almost my entire freaking business. I'm so ready to not be. So I have not done the three day refresh, but I do. Um, I love how you're laughing so hard right now, Brenna. <laughs> but I do recommend the three day refresh because I've educated myself on it. I've watched people who've done it and I've seen people have amazing, amazing success. So, you know, you are the CEO of your business. This is a new amazing product that people can uh, really benefit from, uh, especially those of you who are on the call who might get pregnant or are breastfeeding or are a mom to be mindset is kind of made for you. It's that, you know, people, it's wonderful how they're giving us less excuses to say, I can't do that right now. Um, you know, for me, it's like when a pregnant mom is like, Oh, I don't really want to die. It's like a girl, I'm not dying dieting. I'm fixing my emotional eating for me and my baby. So anyways, um, also be on the lookout as they're going to start talking more about uh, Joel Freeman's new program, which I'm super, super excited about. Uh, the VIP launch is in July, but the regular launch is in October. I would leverage the launch for July if you can. Definitely talk about it. Definitely um, get excited about it. Educate yourself. And you get amped up. When you get amped up about something, then people want to join you. Um, I will be jumping on the October train for that, but I'm excited for it. Um, but if people are into that kind of stuff, um, I'm going to recommend it for July. Absolutely. freaking um, I think that's it. We also, our team call next week is with Joel Freeman. So if you're like, I don't know anything about the program, don't worry about it. Next week, we're going to talk about it. And he's so freaking cute. Like, I mean, like cute, like he's cute emotionally and like trainer wise. And he's just nice to look at. So I'm really excited <laughs> about that. Yes, everyone looks super cute. <laughs> just kidding. No, you can be our normal like yoga sweaty self <laughs> so help they understand. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the call tonight is don't count your chickens before they hatch, um, which basically means, if you've never heard that saying before, you know, don't expect something to happen before it happens. Uh, don't do the minimum and expect high success is kind of it. Now I'm going to tell you a real funny story because that's who I am. I'm your coach and I tell funny stories that apply to nothing what we're doing, but it helps you remember what I'm talking about. So when John proposed to me, <laughs> we were on our way to the grocery store. Um, and I said, we, I mean, I had like, I mean, you know me, I am very like, this is my life. This is my plan. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. So I basically told John like, 
you know, poop or get off the pot. Um, we had been together two years. I was 21 and I was like, I'm not wasting my time with you. If you're not going to marry me, please let me know. So, you know, I was like, not now, but in the next future. So I knew he was going to ask me. I knew we were going to be together forever. But so I, we're just driving to the grocery store. I had no ring on my finger. And I said, I think we should start making a guest list because when you propose, um, it'd be really great if we could just get that going. And he looked at me and was like, don't count your chickens. <laughs> and I was like, what does that mean? And he was like, don't count your chickens before they hatch. So it's funny because I was pissed at him the entire grocery trip, like we're shopping and um, I'm just so angry at him. I think I even picked up a bridal magazine and looked at him and threw it down. Like I was <laughs> like so dramatic and upset. But it was funny because he had the ring and when we got home, he proposed um, in my kitchen. You know, he got down on one knee and proposed and it was wonderful, it was great and we're married, you know, we're expecting our third child. But the point is, is that truly, like he hadn't proposed yet. <laughs> like, Why would I be making a guest list for my wedding? Not that of course, okay, like let's be serious, I had a rough draft going, but the, like, I didn't need to be there. That's five steps ahead of where you're at. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. And so that, that hopefully now you will remember the, the purpose of this call because Samantha is a pushy fiance. Um, and it's not that you shouldn't plan ahead. It's not that when the farmer looks at all the, chi the eggs that the, the little hens are sitting on that he doesn't say, oh, okay, this was a really great, um, day or I don't know how long it takes them to hatch, but like, it wasn't a great week. We got a lot of eggs sitting here. Um, but you truly don't know how many chickens you're going to have to sell to the whatever until they hatch. You cannot do that. So when you send out a bunch of invites, you're like feeling good. You're like, okay, I just sent out a bunch of invites, but you cannot count them as success club points or new customers or new challengers or new coaches until you see it come up on your back office. And then them say, I'm excited to do whatever, you know, our, your challenge group or join your team or whatever. Until you see their little name, you have to continue going as if that chicken did, did not hatch. And that is okay. So, um, why do we norm, like, what do we normally do as coaches? And I think that this is a really normal thing when people come into the business is that you hear success club. If you're new to the team, because I see some names I don't recognize. Um, if you're new to a coach and you're like, what the heck is success club? Talk to your offline coach. And success club is basically our benchmark every single month so that we know as coaches, we're moving forward. Um, because, you know, the, the phrase, I want to help people is super common in coaching. I just want to help people. But ultimately, we know helping people is setting them up with a fitness and nutrition program at the best possible financial deal possible, a challenge back, and putting them into an accountability group so that you can fall forward with them. You know, they've never done this before. They're, you're helping them and you, they have support. They have all the tools they need. That is how you help people. But technically, we help people all day long because you tell them, nice things when you reach out to them, you post motivating things on social media. So the only measurable thing we have is success club. But as a coach, you're helping even more. So what we do is we know that we have to reach success club to be like, you know, a good coach, quote, quote, quote. So we know that we need a minimum of three people to start their fitness journey. So what, what normally coaches do, they invite. And the second you say, Hey, I'm going to grab the baby. The second you send out challenge group invites and you're like, Hey girl, I'm, I'm doing this virtual accountability group. I really wanted to invite you because I think us moms need to stick together, whatever your little, you know, invite saying is. And you have three people reply back like, yeah, I'm super interested. You're like, done, success club in the bag. And it's like the first. And it's like super adorable because I am there right now. I have like 10 people with the link. Share a cart is being used. The link is being used. And I'm still sitting at success club four. 
you can, if I were to stop, and I'm not saying that I'm perfect and that I don't do that. You know, some days you're like, you know what, I'm going to watch 13 Reasons Why because I got people with the link out there and I'm going to do it. And that's a choice. And ultimately in this business, you do have to say, I've done enough. You know, you do your reach outs, you do your invites. You have to say, I've done enough. I get me time. Absolutely. But you cannot wait for those chickens. You can't count them before they hatch. You have to um, wait for it to happen. So normally what we do is in, coach, in coaches, especially new coaches or even veteran coaches who aren't making the growth they want to make, you invite till you get three yeses and then we stop. Or you wait till the end of the month. So like right now, like it's like the 22nd and then all of a sudden you're like, oh snap, I haven't made success club. And you start mass messaging people. Like, hey girl, remember that time you wanted to join an accountability group? Like, let's do this, let's do this. Or, you know, all of these things. And we throw out what we learn, what I teach you in um, our call, um, you know, for the people who haven't done the call on the call yet, <laughs> um, we're doing it Friday and Friday morning. It's, you know, I teach you to put your blinders on that the four vital behaviors is what you have to do consistently over time to reach success on any level. So whether you're like, I just want to cover my Shakeology every month, or I want to, you know, replace my income and come home to my kids, your blinders still have to go on and you still have to do the four vital behaviors. So um, you know, don't count your chickens or don't put all your eggs in one basket. All of those, you know, little sayings are the same thing, but that's what we normally do. But we're not a normal team. We are not a team who's just like, um, I just want to do the minimum and like kind of skate through life. We are freaking a bold hustling team who want more in our lives. And that is okay if you haven't been doing that yet. Because the best thing in this business is that every single day we wake up fresh and we get to be the coach, the leader, the challenger, everything for the very first time. So why do we do that? Like, why do we do those two normal things? Because it's uncomfortable to invite. So I'm just acknowledging it. So if you feel like you're the only one that avoids invites, like you avoid you know, going to the DMV, it's normal. <laughs> it is normal for you to avoid invites because when we first get started um, or when you take a break from inviting, it feels super uncomfortable because your head isn't in the game. When your head is in the game and when your head is down and when your blinders are on and you're inviting all the time, what you're doing is you're remembering people saying yes. You're remembering people get excited that they're going to change their lives, that they don't have to go to the gym and struggle like I did and not know what to do. You are helping them. But when you get your head out of the game, you forget that you're helping people by inviting them. So that's one reason. So let's just, I'm a big person of like acknowledge the uncomfortable so that you feel validated so that any kind of like, oh, I thought it was just me can go away. Um, so it's uncomfortable and, oh, and the whole, like we, you know, we invite till three people will just verbally say yes to us is that as humans and as a teacher, like this is kind of my expertise, like behavior is my jam. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a special ed teacher and, you know, I think reading and all that is great, but behavior and the function of a behavior is my absolute, that's what I do. I work with children with autism in a non-public school and, um, you know, why we, they, why we do things is, is like what I understand. So as humans, toddlers, adults, children, all of it, we rise to the standard that is set. So if in your mind you say, I have to get to three people to count this as a business or to feel successful, you're gonna rise to that or always fall a little short. But if you say, it is my absolute minimum to make it to Success Club 10, 20, 50, I don't care, you will rise to that. So that is why normally that's how we're functioning. We're functioning in those two ways. We're either uncomfortable, so we avoid, or we're rising to the standard that we have set for ourselves. Some three people in a message said, yes, I'm in for a challenge group, and we're like, cool, done. <laughs> but, yeah, baby? 
Is daddy home? Okay, go look. So what do we know? Let's go back. I was talking about your blinders, right? What do we know? We know what we can do to grow this business. We know that being proof the products work, having investment in transformations, personal, whether they're big, whether it's one inch, you gained an inch, you lost an inch, whatever your goal is, um, it gives you a business. Without the products, you have no business. Um, recognition, recognizing your challengers, your coach, um, your coaches, people in the team, success partners, any of that fuels our business. It gets us all fired up, right? Like we see success and we're like, so like, let's jam. Uh, PD inspires us in our business. So personal development is how we keep it going. So in these times of I want to avoid inviting, when I listen to a bomb training, hey babe, always John making appearances. Um, when, look her, look Cammy, who's that? Yeah, she's like really in pain. Thank you. Um, when we're feeling like we want to avoid, PD inspires us in this business. It makes us feel like we can do the impossible. It makes us feel like we can do it even though we don't, we feel like maybe we can't. Um, and, and inviting grows our business. And if you want to grow this business, you have to invite. And I'm not talking about just growing your business to Success Club. I'm talking about growing your business to where you want it to be. And if you think of your business as like, like tiny, like think of it like, like really closed minded like this, you're going to think that the minimum is okay because you're just trying to make it one step ahead of yourself every day. Will you shut this? Just because I'm watching you in the camera and I'm intrigued of what you're doing. Maybe not. I don't know if she's going to let me. Well, maybe not. If she doesn't, that's fine. Um, Okay, so if you think of your business like right here and it's just small, then you're only always just going to make success till five. But you have to remember your vision as a whole business. So my vision for this team, our vision when I talk to the leaders on this team is that we are going to become an elite team, that we are going to have systems set up so that people can step into this business and feel like they can make progress and make their goals and reach their goals and do all of these things. So you can't think of your business of just success club right here. You have to think of it is that every invite you send, even if it doesn't contribute to your success club points right now, it's going to contribute to your success club points eventually. It's going to eventually be the challenger who has the most amazing transformation and then signs up and is a rock star coach on your team. So then you get fired up. And so you're down to send a bunch of invites because you're like, that's cool, girl. If you're not down for May success club points for me, then I know you're coming back to me. Like I have people, not one of you who are mine, uh, challengers or coaches, said yes right away. Not one of you. Um, and I love you for it. I don't care because I know eventually what I'm doing is genuine. Uh, yes, three months from now, this business is a three minimum three months from now business. Um, and sometimes that feels really, really negative And that feels like impossible, kind of like you're digging yourself out of a hole that you, you know, you can't, but don't think about it that way. Think about Ah, uh, hell yeah, in what, I don't know, August, what's three months from now? Like August, I'm good because I just sent out a hundred invites or something. Um, so fall in love with the vitals. And I know I say this every single team call, but seriously, fall in love with the vitals. Um, they're simple. They are the most non-sexy, like moo moo pajamas, nothing like nice about it, but they are what is your business. Um, do little things that make it exciting for you. Um, like make, when you invite someone, like make their little, their name a different color or something like that, that just gets you jazzed for whatever reason, because you're you and we all have different personalities. Like, I really like colors on my spreadsheet. It's not even a big deal, <laughs> but that is how I like it. Um, I used to have a notebook and I would highlight people in like pink. Um, you know, they would be like a star next to them if they were like my dream team girl. Um, like stuff like that. Just fall in love with it. Be patient and understand that everything you do now is a down payment for later. Um, if you've 
It's getting so hot in this room. It's because I'm getting all like fired up and you can tell I'm like in the preachy mode because I'm red. So, um, can not confession, but if you didn't know this about me also, um, I was raised like in a pretty religious situation for like a, the, a good chunk of my life. So I'm really into parables, even though I don't go to church now. And if you've never been to church, a parable is just like this thing where it's, um, kind of like a little story that totally relates to real life, but, um, was told like in the Bible or something like that. So I love the parable of the farmer who spread all the seeds. Um, I'm sure there's an official name for this parable, but I don't know what it is. So the point of it is, is that a farmer will spread his seeds. You know, a farmer gets that big, big, big bag of seeds and spreads the entire thing over its field. And only a percentage of them will grow because some fall on rocky terrain. Um, some don't get enough water and some get picked up by the birds to eat. And then the amazing few fall to, um, what is it? Soiled, soiled field. There's like an actual, I'm trying to think of like the actual, what the parable says. Soiled field. I don't know. Nancy might know. Um, and it grows and it sprouts and it's wonderful. And the farmer is prosperous, even though they spread over the whole field, but only a percentage grow. So you have to think of it as you have to send. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to rock your world with some real numbers. And I loved it. If you listen to the national week of call last week, um, I was really inspired by Moira who said that when she gets on the get started right call, which I'm doing forward now is I'm going to tell you, she tells her girls that they have to send 100 invites to make success club. And most people drop their job. That seems like so many, right? And I know it does seem like a lot. I know it does seem like a lot, but it's true. A hundred invites. And I'm going to give you a secret here. We'll probably get you more than Success Club 5. However, if you plan to send 100 invites, but then real life happens and you end up, John with the shirt off, always. Um, <laughs> always. always. Um, she's fine. There she is, see? Okay. Um, if you send 100 invites, but life happens and you end up sending 75, um, or you plan to send 100, I'm sorry, and you end up sending 75, you will still make freaking success club, okay? Like, if you're not making success club, talk to your upline because something is not working. But we all have those conversations where something is not working, so that's not a bad thing. You always wanna have a new problem. And if right now your problem is you don't have enough people that you're inviting, like that's the first problem. We got to get through that. And then you tweak to make more, um, 75. So that's like a little bit of a technical question. Like does it 75 new invites or is it 75 follow-ups? Like what is that? I'm going to tell you new invites, but always in a month, like you're doing a bunch of follow-ups. Like I call, like from the 25th on in the month are my Hail Marys. <laughs> like, are my like, oh my God, who has ever said yes? So if you remember, everything you do is a down payment in your business. So if you send 75 invites, 100 invites, I'm gonna tell you right now, 20% of them are not gonna answer you. And then you're gonna send a cute little, Hey girl, no pressure. Um, if you ever want to join a group, like I just, you know, whatever you say, I say something like, Hey girl, I don't know if you got my message, but totally no pressure. I'd love to have you in the group anytime. Just so the last thing in the message stream isn't an invite. So let's knock out 20 right there. Don't even answer you. <laughs> so, and then, you know, probably 20 of them might say they're interested. Oh no, probably no. In 75, definitely more of them will say, let's say 40 of them say they're interested, but then 10 of them drop off because they're not ready price wise. You know, four of them are going on a vacation. There's all these things. But remember, you're spreading all of these seeds. Now the best thing is, and you have to remember because you're the CEO of your business and you're not here just to make a hundred dollars and come cover Shakeology. Is a is hundred dollars a month freaking amazing and a blessing? 
hell yeah. However, you see the big vision of this company and you're like, mm, I'm actually going to shoot for a thousand a week or whatever your big goal is, your big scary goal. So you know that 75, all those invites go on your follow-up list. And it's this beautiful long list that you have already planted the seed and not not just like you you threw out the seeds. I mean like four, let's say 40 solid people went to your challenge group uh, follow-up list. And those are people you already talked price about. You already talked about Shakeology. You already said all the amazing things it does. And now all you have to do is maintain that relationship of love and support until they're ready. And then you say, I mean, how much easier is it like, hey, girl, I know you were interested in my March group, but, but you like had to, you know, I've had girls like real life comes up. Like, I mean, I had a girl like break her ankle, like all these things, like you can't expect people to be ready on your timeline. If you wait for your chickens to hatch, you're, you don't have a farm. You're, you're waiting for you're waiting for these hens to like pop out the best chicken for you to, I don't even know what you do with that, but like you're waiting for something, a other factor to contribute to your life as opposed to saying, this is my damn life. And I believe in this business and I'm going to get where I want to be. And so phew, three invites to get success club. Oh, oh heck no. If I have to make a thousand dollars off just challenge pack commission, I'll do it because I'm sending out a hundred invites because it doesn't, it does not translate as fast as you think. So let me just look at my notes really fast. Um, some PD options really fast, like in the moment of what I'm talking about is uh, go for no. If you've ever read that book, go pro, um, which I'm actually going to read next. Um, I like go through like all these, like, um, spurts in my life. Like when I'm feeling like really emotional and hormonal, like I'm like the gifts of imperfection and girl, wash your face. And like, I cry in the shower while I listen to it. And those are super important times, right? Like when you're just like, I need to feel the motivation for my life. That's amazing. And then there are other times where I'm like this, where I'm like fired up about life and I'm fired up about my business. And so I read the compound effect, the 10 X rule and GoPro. Um, and sometimes the go giver. Um, and that is kind of like my, like I'm in the jam. I've listened to these books like four times each, but every time you listen to it, you hear something new. Um, so I, I put those on just to right there. So if you're like, what is she talking about? So go for no is like when I say, add those people to your follow-up list. Like you're just trying to get people to your follow-up list because it's so much easier to send, you know, it's the 25th of the month. And let's say your goal is Success Club 5 or Success Club 20, whatever, you're not at your goal yet. You can be like, boom, you can be watching TV. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, girl, um, how was your trip? I know you were going on a vacation. Oh, by the way, I'm starting up my next group. Did you want to join me for that one? It's so much easier because that seed is already planted. You're just watering it and loving it and get, waiting for it to sprout up. Um, okay, so... You have to think right now, in this moment, what are your goals for this business? And you need to be really freaking clear with yourself. None of this, like, I, like, want to be a really good beach body coach. Like, what does that mean? You know, and maybe it's because I'm an educator like that. That's not what we do here. Like, when I write IEP goals, it is like, this child will read this many words by this date because I say so. <laughs> like, all these things. So, you have to be incredibly clear with what your goals are. And everybody's goals is different. So don't look at other people's goals. If you don't want to be a full-time Beachbody coach, that is fine. That's like amazing. It's, it's because Beachbody just gives you, it fires you up. Team calls get you all jazzed up and sweaty and red-faced. Um, you know, doing these challenge groups just fuels your soul because you're helping other women. But you really love being a, a social worker or a lawyer or whatever you love. But reaching goals in your business one fuels you and then financially gives you the freedom that if you want to bring in a house cleaner to clean your house top to bottom so that you can spend time with your family while you work full time that's the beauty of it or if you're like 
hey, I got student loans up the wazoo and I really would like to have that financial, you know, pressure off of me. So don't be scared to be specific about your financial commitment to this business because if you don't have any buy-in, you're like, then what's the point? You're, if you miss all your stuff, you're like, what, what does it matter? Um, you know, we have a lot of people on our team who want to change jobs. They want to change profession, but that, I mean, you either went to school to pay for the first profession that you need to cover, or you got to save up to switch professions. So, you know, stop thinking of it with this, you know, this kind of tunnel vision, closed minded of like top coaches are full-time coaches and that's all they can do. You know, I love listening to Keisha Fitzgerald's. I go to her YouTube page and I listen. Most of her coaches are all working and they're just fueled by their business. And then they're like avid, like travelers. So like, you know, they have like their corporate hustlers and then they are saving to go on like backpack through Europe. And they, you know, they love because their part-time job is from their living room and they get to do all these things that they wouldn't have been able to do before. So get freaking clear with your goals and then fall in love with the vitals and then don't count your chickens before they hatch. <laughs> so do what you need to do. Don't block your mind to I did enough or um, they'll say yes, because even if you get to success club five, don't check out because it's a three month out business and you're just making August easier for you. So that was my preachy call. <laughs> um, your homework is to go right now when you are fired up, you're going to do a couple things first. I would love it if you shared with us your goal or your vision. And if you don't know, that's okay. Um, but you kind of have a ballpark, share it with us in the team page. So I want you to do that. I want you to either write down your goal. And it's really important, I feel, it's this balance of having a big, scary goal for yourself and your life and also having a lot of self-love. There is not one person on this team that has nothing to do but coaching. We all have lives and stresses and jobs. So it's a balance of, I don't have to be perfect every day, but I will get up tomorrow and try to be better. So, I mean, I'm technically like the founder of Team Bold Fitness, and there are days that I can't get my reach outs in, that my baby didn't let me put her down, and then I worked eight hours, and that... I'm pregnant and tired. I'm never going to tell you that I'm perfect, but I will always tell you that I have a plan and that I try my best to stick to it. So get your goals in mind. Put them out there. Put them into the universe. I want to pay off $20,000 of my student loans. I want to I want to make $500 extra a month consistently so that I can um, cover groceries and date night. You know, things like that. And then I want you to, tonight, think about why you love the products, why you love challenge groups, and go into your current challenge group, because hopefully you're all in one right now, and look at the check-ins and look at the people who are trying and failing forward in life through this crazy busy life, and then invite. Look through people who you've talked to, look through people who you wish you talked to, who like, who have liked your posts, and send a genuine thing, something you would say, not anything salesy or spammy or, or whatever. You just say from your heart, hey girl, I've been thinking about you because I've seen you pop up on my newsfeed, and I'm running these groups, I'm super new to coaching, but I'm so jazzed up about it. Would you want to you know, join a challenge group with me, or would you want to join our team um, have you ever thought about coaching? It doesn't have to be this like really long script of like information. It's actually the less information you say, the better. So it is the 22nd of the month. It is plenty of time to make success up, even if you were at zero. So it's the month is not over. Um, the month is not over. My coach, so my coach is Emily. She's not really coaching right now, um, but she coach for the, my whole first year and she was very very amazing um 
And she always tells the story about the first time she made Success Club 10, she was at zero on the 31st of December and got to 10 by midnight because she decided that she wasn't going to stop inviting until she got to it. She added, you know, a little, eventually you have to add a little bit of pressure like, hey, we're going to start the group. You need to order today. There's things that you have to tweak to say, but it's the 22nd. You got plenty of time to make success of five and 10. What do you want, baby girl? So I made the call as short as I could because I do ramble a little bit. So it was 40 minutes instead of 30 minutes. I know it's almost 10 o'clock East Coast time, but if you set a thing for 20 minutes at minimum, I'm, I'm West Coast time. So are you taking a picture? <laughs> West Coast time. So I have plenty of time. Um, East Coast time, you know, I know even if you set a timer for 20 minutes, you can get in some invites and be genuine and be honest and you don't have to have success yet. You just say, I feel amazing in my challenge group. Would you want to do this too? It's not anything crazy. It's not, if you don't buy these lashes right now, I'm going to die. Or if you don't put these jamboree nails on, my life is over. Or if you don't have LuLaRoe Lula leggings, you're lame. Like, it's just, it's just life of, I feel amazing. Do you want to, would you want to do this with me? And the more human you are, the more success you will have. So that is it. Those are your three to do's. So set your vision, your goals, all of that. Um, what did I say? This, oh, decide why, you, how, and why you feel, baby, I don't know what you want. Feel amazing in a challenge group and in the team page and invite. Those are your three things. It's early. You can do it if you set your mind to it, but you're the CEO of your business and you're part of team bold fitness. And so therefore you're good. And there's not very many people in the picture tonight, but Oh, oh, here we go. More people popping up. So at the end of every call, oh, I can probably stop recording for this part. At the 